Three, two, one. Hey, it's Wild Josh from Geek Cetera, and I'm joined today by Kyle, Chase, and Ezra. And we know that Marvel has licensed many outright properties in, in the past. They've had different properties that they've done comics with. But we're curious about what we think about... Uh, what are some of those properties that, if they join the MCU, may spice things up a bit? So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Now, let's get geeky. So, Kyle, I know that this was a topic that you brought to the table. And um, so I came, went through. I didn't really know. I, I mean, I was a comic book fan back in the 90s. But it was mostly the Marvel that we know and love. Spider-Man, X-Men, um, things like that. So I did some digging to see what, was, what other properties were there. And I found two that I thought I'd talk about. First one is um, Doctor Who. So Doctor Who is part of the Marvel comic universe and they, and they joined uh, Marvel UK, which was a thing for a while back in the early 90s. Um, and they, were, they had made comics from 92 to 96 and they focused on the eighth Doctor. I don't know. I didn't watch pre-ninth Doctor. So I don't really know who the eighth Doctor is. But it is was the, the eighth Doctor. Sorry. No, it's okay. And... Um, I was. Th it made me think if they were going to tie in. Now these are two humongous universes, obviously, Doctor Who, Marvel Cinematic Universe. If they could tie in together somehow, it would be kind of neat if the Doctor was a celestial, and he could possibly team up with like the Guardians of the Galaxy, take on a big baddie like Galacticus or something like that. Probably will not happen. I'm sure. Like probably like less than a one percent chance. That that could ever even possibly happen, but I think it would be awesome. And then um, the other property that I, I thought it's kind of a combined property. It's Muppets and Muppet Babies. So I don't really have a lot to say about this, but um, they were a Marvel property back. Uh, I don't know exactly the years. I think it was in the eighties and nineties. And we did get Howard the Duck in MCU, so why can't we get Kermit the Frog? So, so let me. I mean, just to fact check, the Eighth Doctor was that the one that they just did a movie on? Maybe they just did a movie on. Like he only not, had not, a movie, not like, a series, like exactly. He only had okay. a movie. So, what do you think? Could he be a celestial? I mean, what else would he be? He's immortal. And he's super not powerful. immortal. Doctor Who? Well, no. He is. He has a finite amount of regenerations. But well, <laughs> finite as long as they're more as long as they can't the more we watch. In, as, as, more long, as long as they can't continue making money off of it, then it's finite. Yeah. I'm sure it's that not... when they started the show, they're like, oh, 12, that'll be more than enough. We can we can get a ton of seasons off this, and then they got to number twelve and they're like, oh boy. <laughs> There's more money to be had. <laughs> uh, it's true. So, so Doctor Who, that first one, would that make the MCU more complicated or better? Adding uh, Doctor Who, the... well, definitely would make it more complicated. But uh, I, interesting. I would I argue mean, it's kind of like a superhero. The... I would argue it would make it worse. I think it would <laughs> make it worse because I mean, it, to the well, yeah. Go ahead, Chase. I'm just thinking, what are our choices think about here? We're how many times about... that the Doctor has been to Earth to prevent disasters, and how many times the Avengers have been to Earth to prevent disasters? Why have they not ever shown up for the same disasters? And the world between worlds, so wibbly the, the, wobbly, that's, timey that's wimey. Star Wars. That's <laughs> either of those properties. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, I, if I they like... made it like. Yeah, like a it, parallel it just universe. it makes so many plot holes of like oh Sokovia from the fell from the sky and the doctor who loves humans is just like nah that one's fine I don't care about that one. Yeah, I feel like a a giant 
like robot sen- that became sentient and tried to i think the doctor would be all over that yeah and sorry guys what, every one of those battles is a fixed point in time what about at the start <laughs> of of tenet where like these aliens are all of a sudden invading london in like these giant asteroid spaceships and why why isn't thor just like Mm-mm, be gone <laughs> the, well yes obviously there's some holes but the question was would it make it more interesting or not yeah. i say yes no. Was, was that the question? Or, yeah, wasn't it? Well, if the question is whether it would make it more interesting, then sure. I thought the question would would, is, would it make it better? Because I would argue no. I would. I would also you say have the that show notes. It, it says right there, the MCAU a whole lot more interesting. All right, you were right then. It would make it more interesting <laughs> in a a bad way. Yeah, but also above it in the show notes. By the way, I get a point for this. Uh, it also says, would it make it more complicated or possibly better? There you go. So That's true. Up there it does say that. So we're both right. <laughs> well, it definitely has got to make it more complicated. Any kind of, if you add any kind of other property to it, it's going to make it more complicated for sure. Could it make it better? Maybe. What about Muppet Babies and Muppets? Yeah. I like Elmo. Cool. Is Elmo a, a Muppet, maybe? He's, well, he's, a, he's a Muppet. He is a Muppet. He's Kermit a, was on Sesame Street. I know. That is weird. I, I would, my, my small mind couldn't comprehend that when I was a child. That Kermit <laughs> was on Sesame Street, but he was also a Muppet. But Big Bird isn't a Muppet. <laughs> All right, fine. Well, if we're just talking about Muppets and Muppet Babies, then... Yeah, I guess it could make it more interesting. See, I don't think it would. <laughs> no, I I agree. Well, I just I don't understand like what they would do with it is the thing. Like, he doesn't have any superpowers. Like what what did he on Sesame Street? He just like was the news reporter. Like that's not really a superpower. Yeah, but on like, Muppet Babies, they have the power of imagination. No, they could make their dreams come true. Yeah, true. So yeah, that's, a, that, that, that's what I had, Kyle. So I'm going to throw it to you now because you have a lot on this subject. I know you've spent an extensive amount of time contemplating this question. I I did. So I'm going to boil it down to two, uh, and I'm going to tease a future video where you'll see uh, my full... Oh, uh, um, what's You're it called? You're such a tease, Kyle. Uh-huh. Um, I, have a, I have a proposal for the MCU to uh, reintroduce Transformers. But anyways, I'm just going to stick with really two basics. So the first one I have is Transformers, who um, they started in the Marvel comic universe in the 80s. Um, Now they're owned by Hasbro. Um, But I think they could make the MCU better. And they would would really continue fairly independently. Um, You could do a whole series of Transformers, and they maybe have loose tie-ins and like really rare team-ups. Um, but there's a lot of issues there too, where like, what's the power level? How would they integrate? Um, and then also the Autobot Decepticon struggle taking place on Earth. I mean, one, how would you how would you reconcile that with all the history that's already been built up? And then second, um, this, this, that struggle would really heavily favor the Autobots at this point with the event help of the Avengers and other heroes on Earth. So that's the first one I want to submit. What do you guys think? I think it would be better and more complicated. So, yeah, I actually like this one. It made me think a lot about... I, I, I do like Transformers. As a kid, I never really like got into the toys or any and the story in the comics that much. Um, I got um, into Beast Wars. Do you guys remember Transformers Beast Wars? That yep. was later. Done them. And um, I remember thinking like that art style was just amazing at the time. I recently saw it and I was like, this is terrible CGI compared to what we have now. But then I was like, this is incredible. Um, but it made me think about, um, could it, would it be possible that if we did get a Transformers into the MCU, a, a, a crossover kind of thing, that we could get a Beast Wars Transformers in a Planet Hulk, which I thought would be really cool. Because I know that Planet Hulk, there was all kinds of monsters and creatures on that planet that Hulk would fight. Um, so, yeah, I thought that would be cool. 
Yeah, I think I think that could be cool too. Especially like if maybe he since they're they're beasts, like maybe it's uh he doesn't even find out they're transformers until later on in the movie. Well, we've already done Planet Hulk, haven't we? Now I'm thinking about it. Kind of like Ragnarok <laughs> when he was on I forget what planet that was with uh Jeff Goldblum. That was kind of like a planet like Hulk. But I don't think he was nearly but as he, powerful as like actual Planet Hulk, right? I mean, from from that yeah. series, I don't think so. I mean, I, kind of, but I don't really think. I I want to see more from Hulk personally, so I hope that's not all there is. Like anyway, yeah. All right, so let's let's say that you know they actually go back to this this drawing board of Planet Hulk. Like maybe it's. Um, Cybertron has zeroed in on Hulk as a really powerful force. They need to take him down, but they're not sure how to do it, so they gotta go in incognito and maybe so they, they go in as beasts and Hulk doesn't really find out that they're actual machines until like li- much later on in the movie when it's revealed to him. Um, and, and, and they think they have a plan to take him down and he doesn't. He destroys them all and, and um, that's the last of the Transformers. <laughs> what about you guys? What do you think about the Transformers idea? So, I think... Oh, go ahead, yeah. No, you can go first. No, you probably have more to say, because I'm pretty helpless on this whole subject. Well, so, so this is, like... Maybe I'm a bad geek, because, like, this is kind of why I don't really read, like, comics that much, is because um, I get confused when it comes to these storylines that get more and more complicated, and I feel like... Like, that's why I really love the MCU is because I can know, like, a majority of, like, what's going on and, like, all the little facts and Easter eggs. And I know how to connect them all. And I know, like, where they fall in the timeline. It's so very easy and thought out and methodical. But, like, when you start adding stuff to it, it just gets more convoluted and crazy and out there. And it makes it harder for my tiny brain to, to like, process all that. So would it be more interesting? Yes. And would I like to see, like, potentially a Transformers re- reboot if they're, you know, like, by Disney or by Marvel um, Studios? That'd be cool. I think, I think I'd think i watch that. But I don't know if I necessarily want it connected to the MCU, per se. I can agree with so- that. Having them take over the movies and do it themselves, but have them be separately detached. Yeah. I have to say of all the ones though, um, the Transformers kind of make the most sense as they would be the least amount of plot holes, right? Because they're already from a different planet. It can explain why they haven't been involved already. Mm -hmm. Um, And because they can disguise themselves as just everyday objects, even if some were on the planet, you can easily explain as to why we didn't recognize them or notice them. So counterpoint. And I guess this well, I, so not really to what you said, but like, I think there's another element there, like why that can't happen. And it's because like Marvel is having a hard time as it is like splitting screen time to different heroes. That's why like black widow Hawkeye are probably like falling off of the big screen because they don't really fit with the other more powerful characters. And I, and I feel like if you just add transformers to the mix, it's going to be just transformers. You're not going to see as much of like the other superheroes. You know what I mean? Like, I think it'd be weird chemistry to add these giant robots along with these little tiny people that shoot lasers and stuff. Right. I, I, I a hundred percent agree. And that's why I said it could be cool if it was very loose tie-ins and rare team ups. Like yeah, those worlds could go off on separate and then come back. Yeah. But I don't think we're going to see, like, Bumblebee in the next big Avengers movie. It's like, oh, he just shows up and he's, like, taking on whatever Thanos equivalent we have. Well, this is a very oh, hypothetical really? question because uh, it's not going to happen in any way. Yeah, no, it's true. What would it be? It's like, like, what would it, it be, be cool like? kind of thing? So, yeah. And I, I guess, guess I can't even imagine it because it's just so <laughs> out there. Go ahead, Chase. I've got a completely pointless question. <laughs> no correlation. To, to most about anything except Ezra said Thanos and it makes me wonder did half of the Transformers go away when Thanos snapped oh, are they technically probably. living if they're robots yeah they are um, 
because that might, that, Sorry, that'd be, I, just, that'd I kept distracted. Really good or really bad for like, one side. You guys could continue that conversation. My brain still would have been thinking, snap. <laughs> what if see, it's just do like... Do I still see Bumblebee or is Bumblebee gone? What, just, ooh, uh, ooh, we get a Marvel, what if? Like, what if all of the Autobots were destroyed and the, and, and the, the Decepticons, Decepticons were just over. left to their own devices? Like, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. That would be pretty interesting. <laughs> Sorry, like, like my brain like... does stupid things sometimes, so I just that just is a thought now that I had. No, that was a good thought. I like it. Well, the cube, right? The, I forget what the cube is called. All now, Spark. But the All Spark. Yeah, and I'm not even like alive. a Transformers fan. <laughs> that made them alive. I think. Yeah, it's true. I don't know what it did to them to make them alive, <laughs> but it did something. What about like Toy Story? If when the Thanos snapped, do you think? <laughs> do you think Woody does Woody just dust? turn to dust? <laughs> Woody? Does well, he Woody, turn to dust or Woody, does he just? Woody's real. He's a toy, but Forky? Did he get dusted or not? Forky's real. Uh, okay, but if it if it's, he got rid of half of all Forky, living things, so Forky technically just wants to be Woody trash. and Buzz and Jesse are technically living things. Don't even do, just do, don't do, do well, the toys. I, are you serious? <laughs> really? Do the toys live? Are they living things? Well, the, are, are I, they not? I, I would say well, so. Well, that's what I would think so too. But you just argued like they wouldn't get dusted because. Well, yeah. They so that's what I'm saying is like now, it when the snap happens, does Woody just become like in, inanimate, dusted. just like complete it, or does what, he what, turn to dust and all of a sudden? What if oh. you're oh. What if you're a kid and like not only is your whole family disappearing, but like also half your toys are gone? You're like, <laughs> what am I gonna do to occupy my time now? <laughs> that is that is so true. I don't know what's more devastating. Can you imagine? Should, we, yeah. should we make a shirt? Did Woody get dusted? Uh, <laughs> we are radically off topic, and I apologize for this. <laughs> but just about Thanos is just... This okay, is we... why I think right, the I'm Infinity on. Saga is so great, and like especially, mm -hmm. you know, because we're going to be talking about this snap in 10 years. <laughs> we're still going to be theorizing, like, hmm, I wonder what would happen if Thanos snapped. And yeah. Anyway. Well... Kyle, you have another property you want to talk about. Yeah, I'll just do with this one real quick because I don't, it wouldn't be a pick in my mind for serious introduction into the MCU. The worlds just really don't seem to mesh. But Men in Black um, was also had a, a run of comics in Marvel. So I was just thinking a creative way to tie it in to do it to actually make the MCU better as like a wink, wink, you know. Uh, nudge nudge nod nod i think it's nudge nudge whatever doesn't matter would be to tie them into the uh the upcoming wanda vision show so so what if wanda um she jumps from that sitcom reality to imagining herself in like the mib world after watching men in black the movie and not not like the 90s one the but the one with uh tessa thompson and chris hemsworth and so she's just like hey oh. thor how's it going exactly <laughs> so they're they're already tied that to the mcu stunk. they're 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 they they're tied to the men in black series so she could like com become her own agent not for like a series of episodes but for like one episode they just do a tie-in it would be a neat nod to that history and it wouldn't make the mcu complicated and make it funny better and simple so i could say I, I yeah like I my brain is all kinds of all kinds of off topic right now but um <laughs> ezra said hey thor and i'm just thinking i'm like okay so does this mean that valkyrie and thor ended up having to go through the tahiti protocol from the agents of shield tv show and they ended up working as the men in black and this is how everything connects <laughs> i don't know if kyle knows what tahiti protocol is yeah i do oh okay do you want yeah Man, you must have watched that show, right? Like, that's a good thought. I can connect anything in any way, or I just have all kinds of random questions. I I'm good at coming up with garbage stuff. I mean, so the I thing with... sorry, I was just the... gonna say I wouldn't put them in the Tahiti program. I, I it would just be that's where she jumps to in her own mind. Yeah, because one division takes place on her mind, right? That's visions oh, destroyed. Okay, I visions see. destroyed, and it's her hmm. visions of like their life together but in like a sitcom style like rom-com <laughs> i don't know yeah but um so in that kind of idea it would work perfectly they could do a episode or two where it's men in blackish and it would kind of fit pretty good that would be actually kind of funny the only thing that stinks is that they would have to do the men in black that is 
Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson, which was terrible. Was it bad? I haven't watched oh, it yet. It was bad. It was. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> Did anyone else see it yet? No. No. Okay, I'm the only one. Yeah, it was bad. It's not, I watched it's not... that, and then like I was sick. This was going back to like before COVID. It wasn't COVID, but I had like the flu at the beginning of February. And I was just like in bed sick and I would just, I watched that. And then like, I watched um, the second God, the new Godzilla with uh, 11 from stranger things. And mm. that was so much better, but still terrible that it made me like, well, I'm glad I watched that. Cause I could forgot, forgot about men in black international. <laughs> so yeah. that's funny. It was that bad. It was like, um, you know, you eat something bad and then you have that terrible taste in your mouth. And then you eat something else and it wasn't great, but it was better, like enough to get that taste out of your mouth. So yeah, that's sure. how it was. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ezra, did you have anything you wanted to add or no? And Chase, I know you said you didn't really. So, actually, I did think of something. Well, I think it was probably while Kyle was talking about Transformers. Um, during this conversation, are we including like Fantastic Four and X-Men, which haven't officially been brought mm. into the MCU movie universe, but they are... I wasn't personally because they are they're owned probably under go- the rights of the MCU. Okay, so they probably are going to do stuff with that in the new... Yeah, okay. I believe so, yeah. That was just what I didn't know, because sure. I remember watching uh, Fan Four Stick. That's what the, uh, the internet called it because of its terrible graphics, and that was mm. a bad movie. I haven't seen that, but don't, I heard it was bad. Just don't. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't good. So I had heard that. So yeah. Which one? Um, fan four stick. The the newest the, the Fantastic newest fan Four Fantastic movie. Oh. Uh, yeah. So not the not Chris Evans. It wasn't good. That was the one with Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. As yeah. was he torch? As, uh, torch. Human yeah. torch. Yeah, it wasn't. I didn't know that people called it that. It's kind of funny. Fan four stick. It was just the graphic design on it was pretty bad. Mm. I, sorry, it's, I was like, what do you mean? Like for the posters or like the, yeah, the, for the like, VFX? No, the, the posters and the mm. the title and all that. Just like the way it was designed. Oh, right, because it was yeah. right. Cause it, yeah, it said it was like, yeah, that's dumb. Yeah. You're right. I remember now. So then um, there was a few properties that we didn't talk about, but I can just name them so that you as viewers can think about these properties as well. Um, Power Rangers, um, Archie Comics. So the whole Archie Comics, which would incorporate even beyond Archie Comics, because didn't Art didn't like uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch? She was like an offshoot from Archie Comics. Um, so like, there's even like a whole other like <laughs> thing there, and then GI Joe. So those were some other Marvel, and I'm sure there's more. If you if you know some, let us know in the comments below. But I'm sure there's even more that we're missing, but some things to think about. So what did you think? Did we miss any? Let us know. Do you think any of the properties that we talked about would make the MCU even more interesting or too complicated or we just won't, just stupid? Um, let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Uh, and Muppet Babies, we make your, our dreams come true. We'll do the same for you.